So this is the message from my heart. Conflict and harmony are natural cycles, just like night and day. So sometimes we can't have harmony all the time because if we had sun every day we we not appreciate rain and if we have rain every day we don't appreciate sun right so god gave us day and night and sun and rain so that we can appreciate when we have sun we're like oh it's so warm the plants are growing but you know what if it never rains the plant the plants also don't grow <laughs> right if it's always daytime we're very productive but we also don't rest right so this it's almost like if we avoid conflict, which I've done for a long time, it's almost like I'm avoiding God because sometimes God speaks to me through other people. And when I avoid conflict, I'm also avoiding other people being my mirror and showing me what I need to do to grow. So there's this thing about the relationship with yin and yang that's so interesting, right? So in traditional Chinese medicine, we really emphasize this concept of yin and yang. So if, for example, there's kidney yin and kidney yang, right? So kidney yang warms all the organs and it provides all the yang for the organ function, but then the yin is the nourishment. So yin and yang is like hot and cold, front and back, top and bottom, they are opposite, right? Cold and hot is opposite. But cold and hot, you know, this yin yang also have a dependency, right? Because think about yang. Yang is rising. So if we don't have anger and yang, then nothing will rise. But if we don't have yin, yin is like grounding, nourishing, right? The water. If we don't have yin, then nothing is nourished. So yang without yin would just explode and not be grounded. And yin without yang, we just be dwelling in the same place. So if we are a victim or we, we have cancer, or whatever, we think we're stuck, but it's actually not true. So actually... Yin needs yang because yang can move yin and yin can anchor yang. So we need both. Relations, resolving conflict is a really good thing because no conflict, no intimacy. Hey, you know what? If I just tell you, hey, how's the weather today? Huh? Did you watch that movie? Hey, you know that um that bao from that Chinese restaurant is really tasty, right? If I only ever talk about small talk we never really have intimacy. We never really know ourselves or know God if we don't have some testing. <laughs> so here's one thing I've learned is avoiding conflict is also avoiding love, peace, and harmony because we, we are in this cycle to grow. this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and be notified. Visit our website at mindfulhealingheart.com. Click the link below to check out our classes and join our free online community. See you there.